Today's watch puts all the other houses on notice and at the same time puts Frederic Constant on the map. The unbelievable monolithic. This innovation in watchmaking is exciting and I'm genuinely hyped. Let's check it out. Introducing the all new Frederick Constant Slimline Monolithic Manufacture Caliber beating away at 40 hertz. That's right, you heard me. 10 times the speed of a normal Swiss Movement 288 medium beat. So this one, 288,000 vibrations per hour. Wow. And the result is obvious. The smooth, sweeping seconds hand. Well, I don't want to say sweeping gliding seconds hand very reminiscent of spring drive now spring drive took out the escapement for a glide wheel and a quartz crystal with a braking system this thing took out the whole swiss lever escapement for a thin piece of silicone all one piece that's where the name comes from monolithic that one piece replaces 26 parts the whole swiss lever escapement but it does the same job but without any oil and without any friction and also it's 100 percent anti-magnetic and frederick constant is saying wear and tear on the silicone is basically nothing so expect longer service intervals for sure some purists may be mad about this they may think you know what you took the heart out of an automatic movement and i don't know what's left the mainspring sending some power through the gear train four or five gears leading to a silicone oscillator hmm the purists may argue that it has lost its soul. I'm curious. What are your thoughts? I'm undecided. This watch is limited to 810 units for the silver dial and 810 units for the blue dial and 81 units for the full rose gold. And the price? Roughly 5,000 USD for the steel models and about 15,000 for the precious metal. Wow, what a price. For an all new movement, groundbreaking technology, the research and development costs were probably astronomical. So this price is actually kind of cheap. Fully in-house Swiss made, Frederick Constant started in 1988 and boy, have they come a long way. The dial, spectacular, intricate with a lot of detail. French hobnail, guilloche, framed by fluting. It's beautiful, creating a sector between the center and those Roman numeral hour indices that are painted on the silver sunray portion of that sector. And the Roman numerals are framed by fluting again, creating a beautiful effect. We have a date subdial with Arabic numerals, only the odd numbers, and the guilloche is a finer hobnail design. The Roman numerals are painted black and the hands breguet style are black as well. And I think it's a great look, it has a nice contrast. Overall, they knocked it out of the park with this open heart guilloche dial. The measurements I got were 40 millimeters in diameter, but I feel it wears a little bit smaller, almost like a 38 because of those diminutive lugs. Double dome sapphire with anti-reflective coating, 11.6 thin, very nice. Lug to lug, 44.9. Okay, so excellent wearability here. It's a 40, but wears smaller. So keep that in mind. The strap, the leather isn't the greatest, a little plasticky. We have 20 down to 18, and we do have the FC crest here as the deployant, and it's just friction fit, and it is milled. So well done, Frederick Constant, creating a piece that it just oozes class, like a breguet for one tenth the price. So you get that taste of classical watchmaking, and it's still Swiss made from a respected house. So they have a strong positioning in the industry, and with this new revolutionary movement that is only going to get better, I can see this house going on the rise. However, there is some downsides. It's rated at cost, negative four plus six seconds a day. Some of you may be asking, what's the point? Why are you going 10 times faster and taking out my beloved Swiss lever escapement for not that great of an accuracy? Well, the technology is still new and it's only going to get better. So eventually in the future, they are saying they're going to get half a second a day accuracy. Then it's going to be truly impressive. They do have weights like a free sprung balance on the side of that oscillator, but we can't even put it on the time grapher. It doesn't tick. It kind of hums. 
Let's see if we can have a listen. And what you guys are seeing right now on the camera, you can see that oscillator oscillating. You can't see that in real life. The naked eye cannot perceive movement. When I'm looking at it right now, I see no movement and it feels a little dead that way. We love to see the beating heart of our movements, even from the back. When you look at the beautiful display case back and that rose gold rotor, you really don't see any movement at all. There you can see the FC810 in all its glory with Perlage work, Côte de Genève, 19 joules, 80 hours of power reserve. And the mainspring is the same length as a 38 hour normal movement power reserve because the single piece oscillator is so efficient. Let's do the weight. 70 grams. Okay, very light and comfortable. The watch has a gorgeous, well-defined onion crown push pull, giving the watch 30 meters of water resistance. So just splash proof here. Something you need to consider with this watch is servicing. You're going to have to send it back to Frederick Constant. Your local watchmaker is probably going to break that oscillator. It's paper thin. So factor that into your purchasing decision. If you want a piece of history, a groundbreaking movement, definitely pick this up. I can see it getting better over time, but right now at only cost, you do get that beautiful glide, but you lose the beating heart of the Swiss lever escapement. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know down below. And if you made it this far, please remember to subscribe and maybe check out the videos on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.